Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Japanese European Girls Mathematical Olympiad Team Selection Test, Final Round 2024, problem number 1. We wish to find all non-negative integers x and y, such that first the average, the arithmetic mean of x and y is a prime, and moreover x factorial plus y factorial is divisible by x plus y. So it's a rather straightforward problem, here are my hints. Well, since this average is a prime, you can derive easily that y can be expressed as 2 times p minus x for some prime number p. And for the second condition, consider separately cases where x is less than p, x is p, and x is greater than p. And that should be enough to solve this problem. So give this problem a try. All right. So, um, so first. We are assuming that x plus y is a prime, so it can be written can be written that y equals two times p minus x or some prime number p. All right. And now uh, let's tackle our second condition. Notice that x plus y divides x factorial plus y factorial, well, if and only if, 2 times p divides x factorial plus 2p minus x factorial. And in particular, in particular, p itself must divide x factorial plus 2p minus x factorial. Now, I will consider three cases. Case number one. Case number one, when our number x is 0, 1, and so on, up to p minus 1. What then? Notice that then, then, p does not divide x factorial. Because p is a prime, and no number on this list is divisible by but, but p does divide 2p minus x factorial. Well, why is that? Well, because this number right here is greater than p. It's greater than p. So, something factorial, uh, so some, some number greater than p factorial is divisible by p. But now we have a problem because sum of two numbers, one of which is divisible by p and the second one is not, is not divisible by p. So no luck in this case. Similarly, case number two. Case number two when x is p plus one, p plus two, up to 2p. What then? Then we have similar situation but other way around. Now p divides x factorial and p does not divide 2p minus x factorial. Well, why is that? Because this time this number right here is less than p. So again p does not divide x factorial plus 2p minus x factorial. No luck there. And last case, case number 3, when x is p. Notice that then, then y also equals p. And notice that x factorial plus y factorial over x plus y, it's p factorial plus p factorial over p plus p, it's p factorial over p, and this is p minus 1 factorial, which is an integer, so indeed we have exactly one pair of solutions. Solutions. Mm. Solution or maybe the solution, let's, let's write it, the solution to 
the only solution x y equals p and that closes our problem so thank you very much for watching i hope that you've learned something new this time and i will see you next time goodbye